Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Cain Self-Defense of Master Gary Hernandez. This is the second video in one of our new series called Brand New to the Cane. Now, that is for people that are brand new to the cane, that have never, ever had to pick one up and used it for self-defense. And we're going to go over basic techniques broken down real slow to help the individuals. This is also good for people that have trained for years and years and years and may want to fall back on a refresher. So we're going to start on our second technique, which is going to be a, just a basic, simple swing. There's many different swings, but I'm going to cover just one way to swing. But I want to cover something that I didn't cover in the first video, and I should have done that. I do apologize. It's actually chambering your cane. Now, for the swing, there's two different ways you can swing your cane from the tip being toward the floor. And then I'm going to talk about where the targeting systems on the person are. Now, we did the bayonet strike on the first video where I came up and we struck. And you notice how both hands are on the cane? Well, that hand had to get here. And I didn't explain how that hand went from here to here. So that I apologize for. But before I do that, let me show you the um, fast way to swing with the tip on the floor. Now, if you remember, I talked a little bit about there's, if you're fast and strong when you're young and you get a lot older, you start to lose speed and power. Now, let's say you could not, you may not be as strong as you used to be because of either age, injury, or you might be ill. You may not be as fast as you were when you were younger because of the same exact things. So if I don't have the strength I have, I mean, God, who does these days, right? You know, I'm um, I'm going to be 57 this year, so I didn't I don't have the strength I had when I was 25. So I'm going to compensate strength for direct targeting areas that'll slow them down easier. I'm not as fast as I was when I was 25, so I'm going to compensate speed for being sneaky. So one of the things is a quick swing when your tip is on the floor and you have your hand being held up high here or on top of the crook it's just simply like that now your training cane may have grips it may not this one here is a basic training cane really reasonably priced nice hard oak has no grips on it now i'll do another video i've done one in the past but i'm going to do one on how to put grips on there and there's many different things you can use like I like to use Ranger bands and I'll do a whole video about how to get them for free how to cut them up how to put them on you can use all there's so many different things you can use um, and I'll cover that in a further video down the road but right now I got my hand here one of my canes that I had designed has actually grips underneath for me to lock in so but this one does not so from here, I simply swing it. Now, there's two kinds of swings when you're holding it here. One that's a little bit stronger is when you swing your cane, and your cane is basically going to be horizontal. That means everything is flat out like this. Now, as I do that, I'm hitting it, and I've got a pretty decent hold on it. The second way to do that is when I swing it, and my cane is vertical, like this. And vertical where the horn is facing downward. Now what happens is that's not as strong because when I hit, no matter how hard I hold it, hitting this way tends to want to shift a little bit. So I don't have the same grip as if I was here. That doesn't switch in my hand as easily as that does. So that's why I like to swing more like this. Now, when I talked about compensating being sneaky for power, Here's what you can do. Someone's coming, oh my God! You know, and then you you kind of throw your hands up, you, and then you simply, you know, you cause them to trade, you act afraid, you lift your hands up something, and then you swing. If you man up and go like that, you better be really, really fast. So there's you know ways you can do that. Now, the second way to swing is changing your grip and bringing it down to here and picking it up. So now you have it like I did for the bayonet strike. Now, you want to be sneaky as well. 
There's several ways you can do this. One is you can simply shift forward a little bit like that, grab it, pick it up. <clears throat> I don't want to lean forward though, because that's going to be dangerous. Um, best way to do it that I feel, again, my opinion, if you want to be sneaky about it, now watch my shoulders. If I do this, my shoulders move forward a little bit. Now I can lean sideways and drop it down too and pick it up. But my shoulders lean a little bit, you know, because you're here. You're trying to come down to here. One of the things I'll, I'll do is simply watch my shoulders. They didn't move. So what I did was I leaned my cane backwards just like this, and it allowed me to, instead of having to shoot over, I leaned it back and slid my hand down. Now I can pick it up. So I don't move as much top-wise. And I can act scared too. Please don't, you know. Ah, you couldn't see that because I was kind of too up on the camera. But I can be like, please don't, you know. And I can move this hand up and stuff. So they see this moving. But, you know, and, and you know, I can do the same thing here. I can shift forward if I wanted to. But from over here, I can say, please don't, you know, lift this hand up like I'm begging for help. Now I had already chambered down and I swung. So a simple way to do that is just lean it back, the cane back a little bit and shift down. Boom, and you're, that way you're not dropping your shoulders and too much. Now, when that's said and done, you can swing. We're going to cover more how to swing, all the swinging around, stuff like that, later on in the video. But right now, I wanted to just get to chambering down and swinging. When you're swinging your cane, or like I said, we have this kind of swing, that kind of swing, that kind of swing. You know, we have moving all over. That's great. We will cover that later on. Target areas for swings, though, as a beginner. Let's start off with the most obvious, the head. Understand, if you hit somebody in the head with a solid object, it, blunt trauma could develop. You could kill the individual. So you need to understand, if your life is on the line, then you go for the head. If it's not, don't swing at their head. But when I'm swinging at someone's head, targeting areas... I'm going to go for the, for the ear, because if I'm off a couple of inches, I'm still biting into them. Because your target areas when you're punching are temple, ear, and jawline. Because I'm never going to punch somebody in the head head with my hand, because it can break my hand. But I got a piece of wood, so boom. But if I, I don't want to catch them in the top part of the head, and it skims, or it stings them, but it doesn't drop them, if there's more than one person, or I know they're trying to kill me. Then I want to make sure that I'm precise, and I'm hitting Notice the hand. When I'm doing a bayonet strike, two hands are on the cane. When I'm doing a rifle strike, two hands are on the cane. But in a single hand swing, because there are double hand swings, but we're not going to cover that right now. There are single hand pokes as well. Again, we're not covering that right now. But in a single hand swing, bring your hand up. Make sure this hand comes up. Number one, so I don't hit it with my own, injure it or knock my cane around. Number two, I could use it to grab on to people or grab something. Number three, I could use it to fight. So that hand has a job. So from here, it comes up and it swings. 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 Well, no matter what swing, we'll cover that later on. So I want to simply swing. So practice chambering down, swinging. What foot's the best to step with? The foot that has the same size as the cane or the foot opposite of the cane. That's up to you, but I will give you a, a little bit of a um, clue on something. Distance. I'm going to stand right about here, and I'm going to just step forward. If I step forward and I swing with this cane right here, look where my tip starts. Bring my foot right back. Same spot, step with the other one. My foot, notice my cane goes further. Why? Because it's the same, it can lean out further. So I have more reach with the same side than I do with the opposite side. So you're gonna end up with about that more much reach. So practice that at home and kind of get used to that. So simply step like this, step like this, and see how much reach you have. And then you can lean into it and you have even further reach. So practice at home, chambering down, picking it up and swinging, 
are swinging from tip on the floor. Practice those techniques at home. Again, this is broke down beginner level stuff, everybody. Work on it. Make it yours, as I always say. Hopefully this helps. Gary Anders, thank you. And again, this is a new series called Brand New to the Cane, and we'll be putting more out throughout the year. And again, look forward to seeing more people in the future in 2021. If you like what you see, click like on that button. It does help this channel. Um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It does help this channel. Hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified when I'm putting out videos. If you have any questions, contact me. Again, Gary Hernandez, thank you, and I will see you guys real soon.